Yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. Young? Nimble? What for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. I understand. Sorry. Water carriers. I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own servants. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, of course. It goes without saying. I hear you need people to empty lashiness. I also heard that you need workers to carry, uh, to empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such manners. That's not a concern for decent people. But I need to know. Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. Okay. That's all then. How can I be of service? Now, I want to buy some more schnapps from you. <laughs> Do you have any more on you? Looks like you do not have any more. There has to be another person that we can speak to, and that's Alex from Skelets. He's probably one of the beggars. So let's run to him. He's probably begging nearby. Here's Alex. Jesus, what do you want from me now? How's life in Ratai? Ha, huh, what actually happened, Scarlet? I'd like to talk about jobs for our neighbors. How are the refugees doing? How are you coping? As well as we can, Henry. You can be glad Sir Radzik took you into his service. I hear you even go hunting with Lord Capon. I've been once. And I don't think it'll be happening again any time soon. Ah, it's a shame. Because I was going to ask a favor of you. I'm sure you know there's a lot of hungry mouths here, so I thought you might be able to help. I can't feed all the refugees. I don't know. I'm not such a great hunter that I could feed all the refugees. No, no, that's not what I meant. It's the townspeople here who have a taste for game. They want to live like the nobility, see? A few of the burghers have been to see me already, to ask if we'd try our luck in the woods. They promised us supplies in exchange. Flour, lard, eggs, and the like. But we can't afford to take the risk of poaching. We're barely tolerated as it is. If one of ours got caught in the woods, They'd hang him from the nearest tree. But I was thinking, you! You're in Sir Radzik's garrison and you go hunting with Sir Hans. You could help us. Sure, why not? Well, I got away with brawling with Laura Capon, so I don't suppose they'll string me up for a few hairs. Great, Henry. I really appreciate it. The local tailor was asking me about getting some hairs to put on a feast for a visiting merchant. All right. I'll bring you something. Thank you. You'll be saving us from starvation. Beggar's feast. Let's talk further. How's uh, life? I would like to talk about jobs for our I'd neighbors. I'd like to ask about our former neighbors. There are jobs here for some of them, and I have to pick people. The bailiff told me about it. He still wants our people to do the knacker's job? What of it? It will benefit everyone. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone. And no one wants to do the knacker's job. Better than nothing, isn't it? Do you know of a good cook? I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard she can cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. 
I believe she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. Look around the church for the housekeeper, Agnes. Better than nothing, isn't but it? Having a job could save someone's life. Water carrying, maybe. But if they have to do a job that's not fit for a decent person, only for the knacker or the executioner's servant? So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job, even if it is hauling shit? You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. When we return to Skelitz, they'll never be able to rid themselves of the stink. That's a good point. Do you know about anyone? So, do you know who's most in need of some coin and is fit for hard work? Everyone's in need of coin, but not everyone is fit for such work. Well, who should I talk to then? <clears throat> Where will I find them? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house, so they'll all be in one place. It'll take me a while, though. Okay. Thanks. I'll go. All the people to the round house. I've lost them. A beggar. Let's see. Maybe he'll agree to carry excrements. Jesus. What do you want from me now? Do you want a job? I'm looking for water carriers. No, I'm looking for shit carriers actually. <clears throat> Wait a second, Alex. Is there an option for me to give you that stuff now? Hair meat. Um, what's this? What is this anyway? What? Looks like this is where they hey! sell shoes. Undoubtedly an interesting place. Let's start trade. And they do have superbly expensive shoes and not so expensive ones also. Shoes are something that I am uh, constantly wearing. And um, <clears throat> for as long as they're not overpriced, what are you it's after? just fine. Okay, that's the cobbler. He will talk to me. See if he has anything to say. Day. Good day. Um, <clears throat> not really. I think. Let's go and look for a Pikmin now. <coughs> He's just probably begging somebody here, somewhere around this place. Kunish. Ringlet. Here he is. Big man. Good day. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. I need to wait for him to call everybody <clears throat> into the town square. I guess. Let's see. Talk to the people who are interested in jobs auction and look around for a church for the church for the housekeeper Agnes. Wait until Alex sends all the people to the rat house courtyard. So um <clears throat> isn't that it? Look around the church now. So let's first of all wait for everybody to be sent here. The courtyard maybe? I'm not sure where he's going. Cornelius, a rock. I think that's her. And let the yeah, that's Agnes.
Are you the housekeeper for Ravna? Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. Or I did. Before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper. And everyone I asked sent me to you. No, oh, I've been blessed by God. So it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well, Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. The merchant Hagen is an important person. Merchant Hagen isn't just anybody. I, I've heard of him, that he's a good Catholic. Really? Uh, uh, well, yeah, sure he is. True. People still talk about the lovely service he arranged for his wife's funeral. So, you wouldn't mind being his housekeeper? Well, I don't know. What will Father Francis do? He doesn't need a housekeeper anymore. Father Francis no longer needs a housekeeper. What? Don't tell me he's found a new one. Yeah, <laughs> I shouldn't die, but he died. No, he um, died. Mary, Mother of God! What happened to him? Did they murder him? But he was gone before those godless animals came along. They couldn't have caught up with him. A horse kicked him. Oh, you're right, they didn't catch up to him. But in the chaos, he got uh, uh, kicked in the head by a horse and he never recovered. I always told him not to be afraid of them, but he was, and those hellish beasts always were able to smell it. I can imagine. I've had dealings with them myself. So, do you know what you'll do now? Are you willing to go serve Hagen? First, I must pray for his soul. And then, I could go work for Hagen. Since now, I don't have anyone else to care for. I understand. I'll leave you to it then. I hope she'll hopefully she will never find out. <laughs> About it. Okay, wait until Alex sends all the people to the Red House courtyard. Where is Red House courtyard anyway? Hopefully it's here. Hopefully. Okay, <clears throat> now, will I be waiting? Let's wait for an hour, or a couple of hours. So, any news? No, still nothing. Hagen wanted a good, reliable cook. Okay, let's talk about uh, Alex. I went to ask Alex to advise me in selecting people for the jobs. He wasn't key on it, but in the end he agreed to send me candidates. I should talk to scouts, refugees who are interested in jobs. Alex got together all the people interested in work that are waiting for me in the Red House courtyard. Um, where is Red House courtyard? Obviously, he didn't got him there just yet. In any case, so I'm gonna get some sleep. And then I'm gonna go after it again. It looks like the refugees are being provided with food, so it's not a complete disaster. <clears throat> 
It's just that they don't have money. Let's get some sleep till morning. Okay, finally he got them together. I'm uh, going to put some clothes on. Mainly I need trousers. Oh, they don't really have that many. A Z. Let's get the um, yellow black hose. That's what I like. And uh, it's time to put it on. Maybe high, bo high boots also. Okay, besides that, there's some stuff I should put back. Okay, do I have everything on me? No, I don't. <clears throat> I still need uh, this right here. Uh, top. Okay, that should do the trick. It's raining. Let's see where exactly is everybody here. So now we know. what they're after. I wonder if the rain gives me any... pluses on my hygiene. What? Such are my orders. Let's pay him off. Whatever you're being paid, I'm sure I can make you a better offer. Fine. You can go in then. Okay, go. Looks like not all the beggars are here. Oh, look at that. That's Rock, and that's the big man, the guy I'm waiting. Let's have a chat, my friend. How are you? It's fine. Carrying water? You hear about the water carrying? Aye. I can hold water all day long. So, do you want the job? There's plenty of other folk that will take it if you don't. I do. I want it. What do I have to do? You or you could... <clears throat> okay, how did you make a living before this? So tell me, what was your trade before? I was a miner, then a farm laborer, then I was a servant. Then I fled from Scullets and ended up here. Quite the fat totem, aren't you? Was none of those jobs good enough for you? Uh, I liked them all. But they were always sending me to do something else. Pigman, they'd say. Leave this and go and do that. Is that name Pigman? Pigman. That's your name? Uh, actually, my real name's Vassin. But they call me Pikmin. Is that German? No. It's from when I was in the mines. Digging with a pick. Okay. You are not talking to the bailiff. 
What will I get out of it? Well, I could put in a good word for you, but uh, to you'll have to scratch my back too. Fair enough. Show me where it itches. No, you dolt. It's just a saying. Like I do something for you, and you do something for me. Ah, right. I see. Well, as it happens, I've got something great for you. Treasure you wouldn't dream of. Ha! Treasure? Treasure, you say? Right, you've got my attention. I see you're a smart man. A man who knows a thing or two about the world. I've got... Just going to pretend Wait I'm not for here. it. I've got a piece of the Queen of Sheba's sword. Never heard of her. Not Who's she? She was a great queen in ancient times. She gave Solomon a sword. Not a sword with magical powers. Magical, eh? You shouldn't believe everything you hear. No. Hey, it's true. It's in the Bible. And this sword, once it's put back together, nothing can Not stop it. To me. It can cut through bones, teeth, even <clears throat> steel and stone. I see. But you've only got one piece. What's that good for? Uh, I couldn't get it all. The fellow I bought it 